uh, I want to welcome you all to a pre-intermediate lesson in Chesham. Now, I've done this lesson for elementary group, uh, and it's basically almost the same lesson, but this is a, there's a lot more detail here. So what I would like to do is introduce, start, and I start to introduce the present simple. We use present simple to talk about information about ourselves. I am Mike, I am a teacher, I live in Chesham, etc, etc. We use it to talk about truth, you know, how I feel about certain things like I hate politics, I love to swim in the morning. Um, we talk about lies, the earth is not square. You know, that's, that's, not, a, that's not true, that's a lie. Um, um, we talk about facts, the sun is big. Uh, we talk about fiction. Um, and, and, and of course we talk about habits as well. And this is a great habit sentence here. Uh, the, here's the sentence that started our lesson. I learn English in the morning. So what we decided to do is to structure the whole lesson around this one sentence. And we started learning questions you can ask. And you came up with two different questions for this one sentence. Somebody said, what do you do in the morning? Well, I learn English in the morning. And somebody said, when do you learn English? Well, I learn English in the morning. You're asking two different questions with the same answer, and it's great because they're looking at different aspects. The important thing to remember, look at this, just look at this first, I don't learn English in the morning. This is the negative sentence. When we look at questions and negatives in the present simple, we have to remember to use the auxiliary verb, do. And we also have to remember that the main verb is always present simple first person. And that's the same with questions, auxiliary verb, do, Main verb, present simple. Same in negatives, questions and negatives. And that's exactly the same for the third person. When you ask a question, it's the auxiliary verb that changes and the main verb stays present simple first person. And the same for negatives. Um, even if it's he, she, it. It's the auxiliary verb that changes and the main verb stays present simple first person. The only change here is with the third person in the positive, where we say, she learns English in the morning. And it's got this S or sometimes ES or sometimes IES, depending upon what you're trying to say. So this is a good overview of the present simple. And here we were talking about a habit. Now, if you could move over here, Solen, just have a look at the top of this board here. So try to get this whole bit in. Don't need to worry about this bottom bit yet, but it's this bit we need to get in. We then took the same questions, the same positive and negative sentences, and put them in the past. And what did we realise? We realised that it's even easier than present simple. Because past is what we're trying to focus on this term. What did I, you, he, she, it, we, or they do in the morning? So, it doesn't matter what subject you're using now. It's all this, the auxiliary verb is going to be the same in the past. The main verb is the same rule. Because you're using an auxiliary verb, the main verb is always present simple first person. The beautiful thing is, it's just the one auxiliary verb. We don't have to play about with it. What did I do in the morning? What did it do in the morning? What did we do in the morning? It doesn't matter. It's the same with this question. When did they learn English? When did you learn English? When did she learn English? With a positive sentence, same again. It doesn't matter what subject you use. We just have to remember to use the main verb in the past. This is the challenge. It's learning to use the main verb in the past. This is where you've got to learn the difference between regular and irregular verbs. 
This is where you've got to learn all those different irregular verbs as well. So there's, there is a challenge here. Okay? Negative sentence. The auxiliary verb comes in. So the main verb is always present, simple, first person. And of course the auxiliary verb is the same no matter what you use. I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. I didn't learn English in the morning. She didn't learn English in the morning. So in my view, the past is even simpler in a way than the present. But here's the challenge. You've got to learn all the regular verbs, all the irregular verbs. Really, learn the irregular verbs. Because regular ver when you've learned the irregular verbs, everything else is regular. And then with regular verbs, you need to say, is it ed, is it d, or is it ied? Which one do I use? And of course, sometimes, is it... Because some of these verbs we learnt today, only a few of them, we can actually do that, even though it's, an, even though it's a regular verb. So be careful of that. It's learnt, dreamt, and there's one more I can't remember right now. So that's the present simple for all verbs. Okay? Yeah, 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 you're doing well. I like it. That's the present simple for all verbs, with the exception of one verb, the verb to be. When you have present simple with the verb to be, things are different, because, well, have a look. We still use it for the same reason, truth, lies, fact, fiction, habits. Um, this is more like a feeling. Uh, information, how you are feeling today, how you feel today. Let's not use an ing verb, how do you feel today? Or the main question, how are you today? When we use the verb to be in the present simple, it's the only verb. There are no auxiliary verbs or anything like that to back it up. When the verb to be becomes an auxiliary verb, the tense is totally different, and that we will learn that another time, okay? Continuous or passive or other things we don't need to worry about right now. With present simple, there's just the one verb when we use the verb to be. So we need to differentiate between all the verbs or the verb to be. Here's the question. How are you today? Well, I am very happy today. I am not very happy today. You've just got the one verb and in the negative we add the word not. The same for the third person. It's the main verb that needs the verb be because the verb be has three different ways of using it in the present. You've got I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, they are. Three different ways, and it can confuse people sometimes. How is it today? It is very happy today. Maybe, how is your dog today? To put it into context. Oh, well, it's very happy today. Or it's not very happy today, it hurt its leg, or it had to go to the vets, I don't know. But Basically, in the present, we just have to use the verb to be and then an adjective or a noun or an adjective and a noun. There's no other verb really here, okay? We use present simple for the same reason, we're just using the verb to be. And it's different to all the other verbs in the present. In the past, it's a little bit easier. Try to get this part of the board in here. We change the main verb. How were you yesterday? Oh, we changed this just to give it a bit more context. That was a good idea, by the way. I like that idea. I was very happy yesterday. I was not very happy yesterday. Question word with the main verb and the subject, but just the subject and that main verb. There are no other verbs in the sentence. And with he, she, it, we still use the same structure. How was he yesterday? Well, how was she yesterday? She was, n she was very happy yesterday or she was not very happy yesterday. So the verb to be is different in the past because there are 
two different ways of saying it in the past and three different ways of saying it in the present. I am, you are, he is, she is. So three different ways in the present, two different ways in the past. So, gosh, I can't think of anything more to say. I thought I had loads of this stuff to say. But that's it really. Don't forget, we use past simple to talk about things that have finished in the past. That's the reason we use it. Completed actions. Now, oh yes, Hup. homework. <laughs> okay, this is really, no, 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 I want you to record the homework. The reason I want you to record the homework is, and what I'm hoping is that people will share this video and everybody will do their homework all around the world. So. You're an optimist. I am an optimist. I am. See, I am an optimist. You are an optimist. Present simple. Information about me. I am an optimist. Okay, back off a little bit. I'm going to just turn the board for a second. Keep filming. Here's your homework, everybody. The homework is, every day, I would like you to write the information on all of these boards. Not just look at it. I want you to copy it every day, like a mantra. So you've already got it written. Yes, write it again, and as you are writing it, say it. Just once a day for one week. Mm -hmm. So we start with present simple, first person, third person, using the verb, in this case, do or learn. And then past simple, same questions. Then, when you've done those you know, the, the present simple first person, third person, and then the past simple first person, third person, do exactly the same, oops, do exactly the same <laughs> with the verb to be. Present simple first person, present simple third person, past simple first person, past simple third person. So, you don't have to write anything new, but you have to write it every day for one week. And as you're writing it, when you've written each sentence, repeat the sentence. Try to make sure you get all the words in. Once you've written it, sometime during the day, if you could look at it and repeat it, that would be great. But the most important thing is, over the next seven days, I want you to write the information on all of these boards. So very quickly, um, I'll uh, a little bit of time. If you could just quickly film this board really nicely so that people at home can see the board. You've, you're, you've already got it written down there. Uh, uh, the good thing is maybe every day, um, write on the day of the week that you've written it so that you know, aha, at least I did it today. And then next week, I can just ask you, did you write it? How many times did you write it last week? Then just film the top part of the board for the, for the, for the present simple. And then, sorry, past simple, I mean past simple. And then present simple with the verb to be. Make sure you get everything in there. And then once you've done that, so then do the past simple with the verb to be. And then, that is the end of the lesson. We're going to go for a nice cup of tea.